What's up, you leather jabronis? So I got a special video going today. La 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 la. Today we are reacting to leather Instagram. All kind of subcultures exist on the internet. I obviously belong to the uh, leather community, which now that I say it out loud, is, sounds a little weird. What I've done is I created an Instagram account where I went through and just followed nothing but leather people. I'm gonna see what leather Instagram has to offer. I haven't spent any time on this account um, other than just following like a hundred different leather crafters. And I'm gonna go hit the explore page and see what kind of stuff I can find. I think starting out with a real makes sense. Okay, this bag, whatever this is, this thing is fucking cool. All Red is really sick. I like her work. I followed All Red for quite some time. And one of the things I admire the most about leather crafters is like just her unique style. I'm an artist before like anything, so having a unique, distinct style is super badass. Like look at these these roses are really cute. Old school kind of floral tooling roses. I really do like um, her style. You know, you don't have to do the most intricate work to do stuff that's really cool. Like these earrings, I love these earrings. These things are badass. Big fan of All Red. <laughs> what? All right, what's up with this late? God dang. This braid work is bonkers. The freaking braid work on this shit is like over the top. Like you could chill out with the braid work. Jesus. Oh my God, bruh, dude, I'm good. <laughs> that braid work is like, does not look fun. All right, what else do we got? All right, we got Jackie. <laughs> uh, randomly Jackie scary, hell yeah. <laughs> She's snowboarding with Miss Rodeo California Shaps. Hell yeah, Jackie. <laughs> Get some. That's the most California shit ever. <laughs> That's cool. All right, who's, this is some murder. Oh, Lost Cow? Okay, look, I'm gonna be real with you guys. We are merely mortals amongst gods. Lost Cow is a killer. I'm actually a little bummed and a little pissed that Lost Cow isn't as famous as, as he should be, like, dude, on a belt. Lost Cow is one of the best leather crafters I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Constantly putting up this kind of detail on belts, like, like, I don't know, man. Lost Cow is no joke. Yeah, look at this. Jesus Christ, man. Look at Lost Cow. He's a handsome young man. Handsome young man. Which is super impressive because when I see Lost Cow's work, I'm like, this dude's got to be like 50, just like dedicated his life to the craft. He's just a true artist, man. This dude is like a master at replicating like what? Oh my God. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. This wagon scene. All right, Lost Cow. I'm gonna put it out there right now so the internet and the entire world knows Lost Cow Leather is hands down the most underrated leather crafter of all time. I said it. All right, tight. We got a dude in a Metallica shirt, T-Bar. I feel like I know who T-Bar is. Yeah, T-Bar is this dude. I know him as the, the TikTok guy. He's like one of the only or only people I follow on TikTok. This dude popped is popping on TikTok. Okay, is this gonna be BM Geyser? Nope. Oh, if it ain't BM Geyser, I don't want it. What's up with IF Leather? Okay, this is a Brazilian crafter who runs the same pattern. You know, it's difficult. So I'm gonna make a comment on this stuff. This might be unpopular opinion. This might, I might sound like a hater. You can call me what you want, but I'm not gonna lie. People like this right here, you know, I'm not gonna say their work isn't nice. You know, if you look, this is the same exact belt. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the same belt seven times, just with different color combos and you know, you slap your initials on the tip, but then they only charge like half price. And then it just completely undercuts a lot of the people out there who actually make custom stuff. So it's hard because I respect the hustle. You know what I mean? I love people chasing their dream, like more power to you. I fully support it, but it also doesn't change the fact that, you know, people who, who do work like this, where they're just replicating the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, just changing like colors or letters um, does, undercut quite a bit so i have a strange kind of conflicting perspective on that kind of stuff i am like go 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 but at the same time I'm like you're fucking everybody you're fucking everybody maybe it's just a matter of like hating the game and not the player right whiskey bound 
because I'm my boy Whiskey Bound. Whiskey Bound, been following him for quite some time. He seems like a really solid dude. This dude's got the wedding, like the custom leather wedding stuff. Uh, market pretty cornered. Um, hey, Whiskey Bound. Why you doing roses, buddy? That's my job. I'm the only leather crafter that can do roses. No, Whiskey Bound's cool. He's got a kind of a funky style, to be honest. I gotta find something that's good. He's like a modern craftsman where he doesn't hard post. He just does nothing but reels, which is pretty much the state of the fucking leather game right now. God damn it. Why is everything a reel? It's not your fault, Whiskey Bound. It's just Instagram. One thing that he does that's kind of unique is like this pedal right here at the very top of this floral that kind of goes one way and then it folds back and then it folds another way. Like I don't really see anybody doing that. Pretty cool, um, unique style. Whiskey Bound, shout, shout out Whiskey Bound. I fuck with him. Why am I getting all this Taylor Swift shit? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I do fuck with Mackie. This dude's a stud. I fuck with this guy, but dear God, where's that real? Okay, this tattoo. My guy, what? I do like how he, <laughs> he makes, <laughs> he makes the brand all janky to match the tattoo. Hell yeah, Mackie. That's a, <laughs> oh hell yeah. All right, so he's doing a little chicken piece right here. Texas cockfighting. Texas cockfighting ain't got nothing on Southern California cockfighting, brother. Hell yeah. Yeah, I do miss uh, fighting rooster culture back home. This dude's buff. All right, Mackie, we get it. You're fucking jacked. All right, can we just check out the physique on this guy? Okay, so he's going into rehab. He lost, uh, he lost a leg, and this dude's a fucking a stud. Like I couldn't imagine going through that. But look at Jesus with the fucking the front double bicep with the lat spread. Dude, Mackie's a fucking animal. Hell yeah, brother. Dude, Mackie, keep killing it, dude. Mackie. Only I'm allowed to do roses, buddy. I take everything back. <laughs> Keep killing it, dude. Oh, what is happening? Oh, this looks. Uh. <laughs> Somebody else doing fucking roses? Nobody else can do roses. Okay, I don't know what the fuck this is. There once was a ship that put to ship that put to sea. Okay, fucking Woody and Jesse, chill. Fuck. Tight random photo of abs and old people kissing. <laughs> oh hell yeah. This guy right here. This guy's a fucking idiot. I hate this guy. <laughs> and making stuff for Miss Rodeo USA. Pick somebody better. Jesus, Miss Rodeo USA. He does have good music taste though. This guy looks like if me and Sheldon, Sheldon's custom tooling had a baby. <laughs> Shout out Sheldon's. Okay, Lane, 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 Lane. Can you post some of your work? I'm sorry, buddy, but like all these videos look so the same that it's like, which one have I seen? Which one haven't I seen? Like, do you, are you gonna, Lane, Chap Shop, let's go. Chap Shop is killer. I don't, I mean, I'm assuming it's probably more than one dude just because of how much he blows out. But if it is one dude, dude, more power to you. Chap Shop is badass. There's nobody out there making chaps like Chap Shop. Like, definitely kick ass stuff, dude. Shout out Chap Shop, been following him for a long ass time too. Okay, BM Geisler, I don't need, I don't need to give BM Geisler any more props than he already has because BM Geisler's like, the shit, but man, I love BM Geyser. He's a fucking stud. Um, the most jacked forearms in the leather game. One thing that I love the most about BM Geyser is his willingness to talk to his customers like they're idiots. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's not the right, uh, maybe that's not the right thing, but sometimes he leaves snarky comments back where like people try and joke with him in his comment section and he does not stand for it. I, uh, I, thought I thought I was gonna, gonna have, have to redrill re every single one of these corner brackets, but in a in twist, twist of fate, so uncanny, <laughs> call it prophecy. <laughs> the fucking leather game, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, right here, dude. 
BM geysers this shit. <laughs> Or this fucking, this fucking Chad. This dude's a complete Chad. This guy, BM guys, so you know what you're doing. You post these horny ass videos so all these middle-aged women can follow you. <laughs> fucking look at this dude. Hey guys, I had a few of my videos blow up over the weekend and I learned some really interesting things. Um, my knives are sharp. Oh, he's so my fucking handsome. Weird. And basket weave. Fake. There's like every part of this dude is like out of a fucking he's like a character like dude Look how fucking gorgeous this dude is He talks like a fucking radio personality his knives are the sharpest BM guys is just built different. He's just built different. All right. That's enough fucking BM guys Malevolent. Okay, this is pretty sick. I I kind of fuck with malevolent. She does a uh, kind of cool like hipstery kind of stuff yeah, Pacific Northwest is exactly what I would have guessed. This seems like it's straight out of like Portland or like fucking like Eugene, Seattle or something like this, but it's pretty, pretty sick. I, I think it's cool. Yeah, Malevolent's tight. Shout out to Malevolent. Angle D, Angle D kills it too. Angle D kills it. <clears throat> 76 and riveted. Okay, shout out 76. Hell yeah. So there's kind of like two trains of thought in the leather game. Um, you either become a mega traditional person who kind of takes that traditional leather tooling um, pipeline and just keeps going with it. For example, like Angle D does incredible, incredible floral work. I'm trying to say this because this is going to sound like I'm being a hater, but I'm not. Because there's, there's two, there's a flip flop of this coin, right? So like Angle D, for example takes that traditional kind of floral tooling and just runs with it. I don't think that this kind of work is, I'm gonna sound like a hater, but just hear me out. I don't think that it's super creative per se. Like for example, this, this piece right here, a rope backpack. So this work is absolutely beautiful, just plastered with really, 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 really nice tooling, right? What differentiates Angle D from the rest of the pack is his quality of floral. Like, it's gorgeous, right? You basically stick to tradition and you run, or you do the creative route and run. So I'll, I'll say Angle D is much nicer tooler than 76 and Riveted right here. But as you can see, 76 and Riveted has got about twice as much followers because her work is more creative. So like this, for example, like, Okay, let's be real. Angle D could tool a horse 20 times nicer than this one here, but look at this piece and everything she has going on with it, with this like conch shell, her color blends in her paint, the layering. Like, um, I'm not saying Angle D can't do this, but when you're trying to be successful in the leather crafting game, you either go mega traditional and just who can tool the best, or you go who can come up with the best ideas. So for example, look at this this thing is fucking cool. 76 and riveted always like always knocks it out of the park with stuff like this, like never ceases to amaze me. Um, really sick, unique designs. Just like look at this, you know, it's not traditional tooling, but fuck is is really nice. It's really cool and really unique. So that was kind of a weird tangent there. But anyways, you could be an angle D or you could be a 76 and riveted. You can take your pick. God damn it if I see Whiskey Bound doing more roses. One person I'm pissed I haven't seen pop up. Western flipping skies, dude. Sarah Garvey with Western Skies is a monster, dude. I will say Western Sky is so on top of the game. She has figured out how to combine the really elite traditional tooling style. Like her technique is so good. And then she also has mixed it with that kind of unique out of the box, I like approach to doing her work. I'm not gonna lie, probably out of everybody, I probably identify the most with Western Skies because she does this traditional work, but then throws this crazy ass twist on it, which is kind of like what I do, almost just kind of like the guy version, instead of doing these really, you know, pretty kind of girly pieces like this, um, you know, I'm doing, fucking like skulls and like tough guy stuff. So Western Skies, I couldn't sit here long enough and give her props, but like, look at this sea of tooling. Like when I grow up, I wanna be like Western Skies. Sarah, please, will you adopt me? Sarah, please, please adopt me, Sarah. 
Nobody can fuck with Western Skies. I mean, there's a couple other people too. Like, let's go. What does what does uh, what does D Loftus have to say about it? I mean, D Loftus, one of the greatest leather crafters of our time. The only negative thing I'll have to say, because there's nothing bad you can say about the guy at all, he's teaching his fucking ways to everybody. So you get these people who are, you know, I call them like D Loftus clones, basically, where these people go and they buy his patterns, but his patterns are so good that you can know nothing about anything and execute them terribly, and they're still pretty damn good. You know, I don't want to really name any people, but it's pretty obvious D Loftus has a pretty, pretty unique style. Um, I, there's also Don Gonzalez clones out there too, where it's like, I know you guys are trying to make that book. I know you guys are trying to give back to the community and teach, you know, what you know, but ultimately it's just flooding the market. And the only way to really kind of combat that is to just get so far out ahead of it and have your own distinct style enough to where people want to buy from your style. So, I mean, D-Loftus is a murderer. D-Loftus, killer, absolute killer one of the greatest leather crafters of all time. Okay, so wait, who's this guy? I put my pants on, just like the rest of you, one leg at a time. Except, once my pants are on, I make gold records. Oh! Had to do it to him. Bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Who's out there mixing the tooled leather with fucking Motorhead? Nobody. Dude, this tooling is pretty tight. It's bringing the vibes on this one. Little, 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 little. Actually, I fucking hate this guy. 